I had a couple of requests and comments to make a video about uh, Quaker berry genetics and what combination of colors and variations are possible with selective breeding. Uh, not an easy topic to be honest, but I did some research, I searched for breeders and checked for their results with Quaker breeding. I'll post links to my sources in video description. Also if you like videos I make and want to see more stuff about Quakers, Slowbirds and Parrots, please hit subscribe button. The plumage color in parrots like quackers are produced by three elements yellow pigments, grey pigments and structural color which produce blue. Green in quackers is a combination of yellow pigments and the blue structural color. The blue quacker has a mutation which removes yellow pigments, while Lutino and yellow quacker has a mutation which removes the blue structural color. Each individual bird has its chromosomes arranged in pairs that are separate and are inherited independently by their offspring. For the genes that carry the feather color, the offspring will receive one chromosome from the mother and one from the father. For a dominant color mutation to occur, the bird only needs to inherit one gene for the color to be expressed from either parent. For a simple recessive mutation, like blue, the offspring needs to inherit the gene for blue from both parents. If the bird only receives the gene for blue from one parent, it will not be expressed and the bird will have the normal green color, but will be carrying the gene and will be referred to as a split. Any offspring from a blue male or blue female will carry one of the blue genes and be split. If you breed a blue to a blue, all of the offspring will inherit two blue genes, one from each parent, and therefore will be blue. If you breed two normal green crackers, which are both split to a blue, you will get a percentage of offspring which will be blue, generally 25%, greens, which are split to a blue, 50%, and normal greens, 25%. The only way to determine if green birds are normal or a split to a blue is to breed them and see what the color of offspring will be. Blue, grey, dark-eyed lutino and albino are recessive traits in quackers. Sex-linked inheritance In birds, the gender is determined by inheritance of the sex chromosome from the female. Some color mutations are linked to these genes, therefore the term sex-linked mutations. So in sex-linked mutation, most of the individuals in which that color is expressed will be females, and smaller portion will be males. In order to produce males of sex-linked mutations, three generations are required. Blue mutation is most spread quacker mutation in the world. Mutation first appeared in Belgium in the 40s. In terms of its formation, blue is simplest mutation. Green color is a result of overlapping two colors, blue and yellow. As a result of stopping production of yellow, the bird loses its green color, becomes blue. Blue mutation is spread on the entire globe and currently is the cheapest mutation of quacker. In Europe, it costs about 100 euros. Thanks to that, they constitute excellent initial base for creating color combination with other rarer mutation. Combining the blue mutation with the Lutino, we will receive the white bird, albino. Here is inheritance scheme for blue quacker. Blue and blue gives 100% blue offspring. Green and blue gives 100% green-blue split. Blue and green-blue split gives 50% blue and 50% green-blue split. Green-blue split and green blue split gives 20% blue, 50% green blue split and 25% green. Green blue split and green gives 50% green blue split and 50% green. They are characterized by the fact that they come from the same gene as the blue mutation. Parablue mutations belong similarly as the blue mutation to the group of autosomal recessive mutations. Blue with parablue combination has one gene of the blue and parablue mutation. It is heterozygote. Genotype of such species it is possible to regard as a split of blue and parablue mutation. Two basic parablue mutations were determined as the turquoise and aqua mutation. Birds of aqua mutation are bluer and turquoise are greener. And here is parablue inheritance scheme.
Latino mutation for the first time was probably observed in the 40s of the last century in the Berlin Zoo. Unfortunately, then it disappeared. Then it was the first colorful mutation of Quaker Parrot. Again, in Europe, the Latino mutation appeared at the end of 70s. Uh, there are two different Latino mutations. Both of these mutations look identical, but mechanism of inheritance is different. One is autosomal recessive NSL mutation and autosomal sex-linked SL mutation. Scheme of inheritance for Latino SL mutation. Pallid mutation. In Europe, pallid mutation appeared in the 80s of last century. It is recessive SL mutation. Pallid is a variant of Lutino SL mutation. Example diagram of the possibility to obtain offspring as a result of linking parental pairs based on SL, Lutino and pallid mutation. Similarly, like in SL Lutino, we deal with the reduction of U melanin in the pallid mutation. The mask and tie of a bird, similarly to a feet and cloths, slightly were lightened. The color of beak didn't change. We can recognize the young of this mutation, similarly as Latino, right away after hatching from egg, because they have red eyes. However, unlike the Latino eyes of young mutation, the pallid with the time darken and after about seven days they are clearly darker. Adult birds have dark red, almost black eyes. Quill of Quaker pallid mutation received a light brown color with the cinnamon. And this detail in the initial history of this mutation caused a considerable confusion. Not long time ago such looking birds were regarded as cinnamon mutation. Cinnamon mutation. The cinnamon mutation is another recessive SL mutation, which appeared in a Quaker parrot. Scheme of inheritance is same as in Lutino SL mutation. A cinnamon mutation was imported from Argentina in 2002 by Spanish breeder Javier. Visually, the birds of cinnamon mutation have colors similar to widely colored birds. Green color gained a minimal coating of cinnamon. However, it is possible to notice the significant difference on bird quills. Dark blue color was firmly covered by cinnamon color. Feet and claws of the bird were brightened, where the color of beak remained unchanged. I have dark plume color. At the end of the 90s in Czech Republic, the first birds of grey-green mutation were observed, thanks to the fact that inheritance process of this mutation was dominant grey-green mutation quickly spread on the entire Europe. In the grey-green mutation, general tone of plumage is in quaker darkened, from bright cheerful green transformed into dark green. Once I met with statement that quaker of the grey mutation looked like someone bats the green bird in petroleum, as far as green plumage transformed into the olive color. The same dark blue quills transform into darker colors similar to black. Bird tail also gained dark color. However, the beak, leg, claws and eyes didn't change their color. Uh, this is scheme of inheritance for the grey-green dominant mutation. dark factor mutation. Birds of the European grey mutation and dark factor mutation are very similar. Only the breeder with huge experience can distinguish these two mutations. For this reason and from the fact that dark mutation appeared shortly after the grey mutation, they are often confused. Dark factor mutation is co-dominant mutation, which means that not fully dominant. In this mutation, amount of mutated genes has influence on the bird external appearance. DF specimens are darker than SF birds. Single factor of this mutation in popular way is determined as dark green, 
where double factor as olive.